Hey, it's David here from Freedom Founders. You know, we're in an era today in healthcare, in our professional practices in dentistry or chiropractic or veterinary medicine, whatever you're in today, we're in an era of commoditization. Yeah, everything has changed. The delivery models are changing rapidly, have been changing for the last decade, decade and a half, but even more rapidly in the last few years. And I appreciate the resolve of many of my colleagues in those industries, in those professions, in dentistry, for example, who are pushing back hard and saying, I am not going to be commoditized. I am not going to work for corporate. I'm not going to be marginalized by insurance companies. And good for you. Absolutely. Resolve is important. But resolve by itself isn't going, to, isn't going to make it happen because the insurance companies are not going away. They are emboldened. They've got more money to fight with their lobbyists uh, than the American Dental Association or any of the other professional practice associations have, have a fight with. It's not going to happen. Big money is will win out. Same with corporate. I mean, Wall Street is loaded with money. Those corporate clinics will continue to roll. Now, the good news is we don't, each one, any one of us does not need all the patients. Uh, in other words, there's a... There's a reason why Walmart does well in an efficiency model, in a commoditized model of low pricing with good value, decent value for people who want that, who are, who are willing to stand in line or go through the aisles or not get great service, but they won't know what they want and they get it for a low price and wait in checkout lines, whatever, uh, bad return service, bad customers, whatever, but there's people that will take that. Uh, and, and that's fine. That's, that's the way it works in a free market, a capitalistic system. In dentistry, or in any professional practice arena, there's people who just want the bare minimum. Uh, that's all they want. They want what insurance will pay, and that's it. Uh, just take care of the toothache, take care of the sensitive area, take care of the rough area. I'm out of here. I don't really care about anything else at this point in time. So you get to decide where you want to play. And it's important you make that decision. Making a decision is extremely important. You can't put out a big fish net and say, come one, come all. Here I am. Uh, I'm a dentist. I'm a great dentist. I've taken all the CE. I do great work. Come see me. Where's your differentiator? That's that's not, you're speaking to the masses. You've got to really dig in deep and create a message to the people you want. You've got to be a great marketer. In other words, if you want to differentiate. Now, the other decision you've got to make besides resolve and differentiation is you've got to decide where which side of the line you're going to play on. What I mean by that is, are you going to be like a top dental technician, and I say technician with, with all due respect, meaning your clinical expertise. You are a technical expert in what you do clinically. Uh, your ability to work with your hands. You're an artist of the mouth. You've taken tons of CE. You are a decathlon dentist, and I give you all the credit in the world if that's who you are, and that's what you want to be, and that's what makes you tick. That's what makes you happy. What doesn't make you happy, I know, is dealing with insurance companies or dealing with, with patients who don't appreciate who you are. And again, the problem there is you're not differentiating. In other words, you know who you are, but you're trying to cast that wide net. So you're not happy and you're having to play both sides of the aisle. You're trying to be Walmart and uh, Nordstrom's uh, at the same time. doesn't work out. And you get fearful because if you don't try to cast the wide net and you're not, quote, busy, then you feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're not, you're not going to be profitable. But busy does not equal profitability. So again, if you're going to be that decathlon dentist and that's what serves your life purpose, then go for it. That's going to be a small percentage of you. I, I'm telling you, it's going to be a small percentage. The rest of you need to decide if you're going to be really a great business owner. Yep, I'm afraid medicine, dentistry, chiropractic, veterinary medicine has all come down to business today in the greater scheme of things. In, in, the, in the larger pyramid, if you will, that population pyramid, there's only a small percentage at the top that can really be that top tier where people will, will pay fee for service and want the best for themselves, their animals, whatever it is. They will pay to get to the front of the line. But there's only a percentage. You can, if you want to be that person that's going to serve that, awesome, go for it. But be focused on it and know what you've got to do. You've got to create differentiation. You've got to create your authority or credibility in the marketplace. That takes a lot of marketing besides your great skills. Or do you want to be in the business arena and be, become efficient and be a business owner, not working in the trenches so much, not being the technician, but be more of a business owner? These are tough choices because our, our history, our past, our education, everything that's been in our heads was I was going to come out and be this great doctor, doctor of oral sur of surgery, doctor of the oral cavity, doctor of chiropractic, doctor of optometry, doctor of veterinary medicine, whatever it is, I was going to be the one to treat because I want to do that. But not everybody's going to be able to do that. You have got to differentiate today. You've got to, you've got to get clear on where it is you want to be. Playing both sides isn't going to work. As things move faster and faster forward, you can't be on the sidelines just watching it and just thinking, well, I'll just keep kind of being both sides. It won't work. Got to decide 
you got to have the resolve to differentiate and decide, are you a technician or business owner? It's a tough choice, but you got to make it. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.